I would like to talk about my essay. And I wrote about the, the benefits to, to speak English. Because I know in this country we can find a lot uh, of families They can live without a stress uh, when they go somewhere and they don't speak English. They can feel rejected when uh, some people don't understand them. And in my case, I have uh, some, uh, some sisters for 40 years, almost 40 years, and, and they live uh, fru frustrated because um, when some of her, of her kids uh, had a, uh, in trouble, and they can't help their kids to find a way to go When my and when my granny when my parents come to visit uh, them, they my grandparents uh, don't understand what uh, the grandchildren are talking about when they are together, and this is sad. Uh, I don't have. <laughs> so I, I have a question. You're doing very well, by the way. Nice job. Um, in my family, we have people from uh, Mexico, Mexico, Colombia, um, uh, Brazil, um, and Asia, part of, parts of Asia, not Japan, but other parts of Asia. So. For me, I would like to see those languages spoken in the United States. I would like for everyone to know Spanish. I would like for everyone to know Mandarin. I would like to, for everyone to know French. Um, and, and maybe some others. But those three, I think, are very important because those are all our neighbors. And those are the people that we will be interacting with. Right? So why should everybody have to speak English? And right now, in the US, everyone has to speak English. I mean, if you want to do commerce or go to the grocery store, go to the bank, whatever, they all speak in English mostly. So how do you feel about that? Would you like for there to just be one single language or would you like to have many languages and that everyone spoke? How do you feel about it? How I feel about if I know two languages? Or yeah, or everyone, like if or your children I knew English. 
English and Spanish uh -huh. and maybe French. Or do you think that'd be a good thing, or do you think we all need well, to? Well, I think no. I think it's a, a good thing because I have uh, two children, mm -hmm. and they are big, and they I like uh, <clears> that uh, they are bilingual. I like it okay. when. Uh, So all of you here, every, every last one of you, now have a very big brain because all the studies show that if you speak more than one language, your intelligence jumps like this. So now all of you have a much bigger brain than people who only speak one yes. language. When we know two language, we can have the opportunity to to get a better job. So I have a question to piggyback off of Dr. Cordes. Um, unfortunately, in the United States, um, most, of, most of the people speak English only. And there's a privilege to that English language spoken here in the United States. Um, can you describe that privilege or that not having that privilege, not being able to speak the language. And what is that privilege of learning English? So the reason why I ask that is because when, when you talk about speaking English and how you're accepted among the people, that has a connotation that you're unaccepted if you do not speak the language. Have you ever felt that? Yeah, how do you feel? Uh, do you feel unaccepted or rejected? Have you felt that? I feel that frustration to to don't express myself. I don't like I don't like to feel like that because it's a reason I am learning English. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes. Any other questions? So, well, let me just... Yeah, absolutely. Since you brought it up, something, this is something I want to see change, and I want to see it change here. And you can keep this on film. I, I'm it's filming it. It's controversial. But I can go take a course at Ames Community College in, in English, and I can get credit for that, even though I speak English. I can go to Ames Community College and take a class in Spanish, and I get credit for that. But when people come here to learn English as a language, we don't get credit for that. And yet, people who speak Spanish, and many of you do, or French, or whatever, you could go take a class in French or a class in Spanish and just ace it because you know the language, right? And get credit for it. Mm -hmm. So why can't you do that for English as a second language? I can do it for Spanish as a second language. Why can't you do it as English for, as a second language? Mm -hmm. I think
think there should be college credit for learning English. Mm -hmm. Right? So that, 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 that's part of the privilege that we talk <clears throat> about. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, I thought of, you know, we, we are privileged even in that way because if I go take a second language, I get credit for it. You don't. Mm -hmm. And that's stupid. That's wrong. That's, that's true. That's evil. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I know I can uh, explain more about my essay, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent job, Griselda. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, great job. Excellent. <laughs>